Hello, so I noticed people were doing the incense tag, so I thought I would join in. Um, I do have a lot of stick incense, even though at the moment I am addicted to burning loose incense and I do make my own blends. So here comes a little promotion for my shop. Um, this is one of the blends that I sell in Hedgerich's Kitchen. Um, this one is Purification and it is made out of bay leaf, lavender and dandelion. And to me it isn't too sickly smelling, uh, not too fruity, not too heavy. It's just a very nice, fresh, pleasant smell. Um, this one and another one, Tranquility are two of my favourite blends that I make myself. I love them all, but them two in particular are my favourite. Um, when it comes to writing the description for these blends, we normally burn the blend itself to try and get some inspiration. And when it came to burning tranquility, um, we just lost it, really. We were so zoned out and... We are just so relaxed, we couldn't even get our brains to work for us. Um, and that's what I really like with Tranquility One. It just helps you relax so much that you do feel peaceful and calm and relaxed. And um, yeah, so promotion over. Um, but I'll just get on with the incense blend that I don't really like. Um, the first one is Relaxin, um, this is by Stamford, um, normally I do like Stamford, sometimes their blends can be way too strong and overpowering, and this is what I feel is way too strong, um, it's made out of cardamom, cedarwood and patchouli, um, and I don't know if it's the cardamom or the ce cedarwood. Um, but something smells like it's burnt. Um, the first time that I burnt this, my mum comes rushing up the stairs thinking that I had set something on fire. And all through the house it was smelling as if something was on fire. It didn't really smell nice to me. It's way too strong and, um, yeah. I bet this, though, would be nice to burn outside. I haven't really tried that because of my first experience with it. So, it may be different outside, but, yeah. Um, the next three are pretty much all the same, like from the same brand. It's Mind, Body, Spirit. Once again, another freebie from those magazines. Um, we've got Hollyberry, Lavender and Pine. Um, these I just felt were too artificial smelling. Um, they didn't smell like the real deal, basically. And I'm really shocked with Lavender because Lavender Lavender is one of my most favourite herbs to burn, to work with, to do anything with. It's such a brilliant herb for me. Um, I really love working with it and for me not to like lavender, to burn lavender in this form, it's um, disappointing really. But um, so far they're the only ones that... Um, I'm not really keen on and um, there are a lot. <laughs> um, I do have a lot that are not currently open or haven't burnt. Um, normally I just buy in incense because I can or um, normally I buy from Pagan Dreams and with Pagan Dreams you need a £5 order to get your items delivered and sometimes the item that I'm wanting isn't five pounds so I need to add things to the basket like a filler um, and it always comes to 
incense incense or candles because they are one of the cheapest items to get from there and um, they're normally about one pound one pound twenty or sometimes on a special offer for about 75p or something similar um and i've currently noticed that they are doing a little deal on some of the incense and i think it's about 50 odd p at the moment so i'm tempted to get them but um i'm trying to hold fire um so yeah that's why i have a lot of stick incense um the first is stress relief i got this at the same time i got relaxing and because of that experience i didn't really want to chance burning this one um but this one is made out of lavender orange blossom and thyme um aloe vera it seems like i've got two aloe veras and i didn't realize that this is also one of the most my most favorite blends to burn it is absolutely gorgeous um it's like when you wake up early in the morning and go straight outside and you smell that fresh, crisp air. Um, it's just so fresh and so lovely and it just makes me feel so happy and awake and I just love it. Um, the other one, Meditation. This is my recent purchase and this is actually from one of our local gift shops which I found out that they also sell candles and incense for about a pound each um, so I'm really happy about that so I don't know if I want to go back to the gift shop instead and get more blends um, but yeah this is made out of vanilla, sandalwood and chamomile um, Demon's Lust this doesn't say what it's got in um, I sort of took a gamble with this sorry just trying to have a drink um, yeah this is just a gamble one I never really burn it yet because I don't know if I want to or if I'm ready to I know that sounds kind of silly but that's the that's just the way it is with me um, but it does say let the sensuous aromas of demon's lust guide you into a world of overwhelming desire um, yeah it doesn't say anything about what it's got in um, yeah <laughs> and the other one is amber and um, with Pagan Dreams you also get some samples with some of your purchases and it's only one stick of incense and this one is Stress Relief and I've got Opium and I've also got Ylang Ylang um, I haven't burnt these yet because I feel like I'm waiting for the right time to burn them. Um, they smell, I know Lang Lang can be known for being a bit of, um, I can't think of the word, it helps you and your partner have that boost in your chemistry and when you want to be passionate and all that. Um, and I haven't really burnt these because um, normally we are around people. We have my parents around or my nieces and nephew. And um, I don't know how they will like the smell. So um, I tend not to burn incense when they're around. And lately we have had a lot of people coming around. And I just haven't found the time to actually want to burn this. Um, yeah. The other one is actually a cone incense. I think this is the only type of 
corn incense that I've got. Um, I've never burned corns before, so I'm unsure of how to put it out, even though I've just recently looked looked it up. And it seems very similar to how you'd put out a stick incense, but I'm still a little bit unsure. And before, um, I didn't really have a burner or holder that could be placed the cones could be placed on. So I'm a little bit of a newbie when it comes to corn incense. But this is from Modern Dryad and it's cottage hearth. And oops, you get two freebies with it. And if I can turn it around, inside the two freebies, you get two smaller cones. And I'll try and show you how many you get. Do, 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 do. So you get a good amount and this was only four dollars and um, the delivery was really fast, the communication was brilliant and yeah I just really enjoyed getting these. Um, they smell gorgeous and it says that they are made out of cinnamon and white sage. I've just got a few notes beside me to try and remember what things are made out of. Um, and she also says it smells like home. And to me that is exactly what it smells like. Uh, it reminds me of when I was little. We used to have a fireplace and near Christmas or near the colder months we would always have the fire on and sometimes the electric would go out so we'd all be sitting beside the fire having our cups of tea and burning tea cakes and playing charades and guess who and all those games and that is what it smells like to me. It just reminds me of my childhood and I absolutely love it. Um, and I think that is it for the ones that I haven't burnt. Um, and on to the ones that I have. These two. Um, these two are from Forest Grove Botanica. Or is now known as um, Black Arts Foundry. The seller is Sarah Ann Lawless. This one is divination incense and this smells absolutely gorgeous. It is made out of bay leaf, cinnamon, mugwort and frankincense. Um, it is a very lovely, rich, deep scent and can take you to like another world sort of smell. I don't really know how to describe these. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I'm trying not to burn it as often because I absolutely love the smell and I want to keep these for a very long time. Um, it's just one of my favourite blends of all time and I wish she would make more incense blends but she's not at the moment. Um, this one is Ancestor Incense. Um, it is made out of myrrh, copal, sandalwood and wormswood. And this smells very light, can take you sort of to your higher spirit level, higher self, um, very airy, light, fresh. Um, it is one of my grandma's favourite blends to burn as an offering, um, which I'm actually really surprised about. Um, Merlin, what are you doing? So Merlin decided he wanted some attention now. But um, yeah, this is one of my grandma's favourite blends to burn um, as an offering. She always comes forward when I burn this for her. And 
lately I have been trying to bribe her with cups of tea instead as I want to try and save this blend as much as possible. Um, excuse me. The next one is Home Protection. This is by someone called Gypsy Witch. I don't know if she is still selling her items anymore, but this is about five years old and I absolutely love it. I can't burn it that often because it makes me hungry. Every time I smell it, it makes my mouth water and all I can think of is food when it comes to this. It is a gorgeous, deep, earthy, but yet uplifting and fresh kind of smell. Um, when you burn it, it's completely different from when you smell it like this. Um, yeah, it's just a really gorgeous smell. We have this one, which is Pagan Magic by Hem, and I've burnt this probably once before, and it's a fruity kind of smell, but a nice fruity smell. It's not too sickly, it's not over the top, it's just the right balance of it being this fruity. This one is called Spiritual Guide. And I don't know, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the make, I think. I am not going to try and pronounce that. Um, I don't even think this is what it's got in as well. Guide your mind to celestial heights, transport your spirit to heavenly moods, spread, spread the fragrance of peace. This is one of my most favourite blends to burn ever. I absolutely adore to burn this when I'm doing some writing, journal writing, um, trying to work with my guides when it comes to any writing form so automatic writing or anything like that it is brilliant for me it just helps me give me that inspiration and that boost and yeah the next three are just simple blends really they're just one herb or resin. This is sandalwood, um, dragon's blood, and I don't know why the box has changed colour to a dark grey. It's the only one that's changed colour. So I don't know what the heck happened there, but okay. And we have frankincense. Um, these I just like to burn every now and then because sometimes I don't like to have blends that um, have multiple different herbs or different smells. Sometimes I like to keep it simple so these come in handy. And um, sometimes they are better than other blends and sometimes it's nice to just make it a little bit different every now and then. And on to the last one, I believe, and this is Love Incense. It is by little the Little Fox's Cottage, and it is made out of lavender, hibiscus, rosebuds, and white corpel. It is gorgeous, and it, she's described it as fruity and floral and I can definitely agree with her with that um, it's a deep floral and not too sickly fruity and I usually use this when I've had a cleanse um, when I've protected the area and I want to boost the energy this is brilliant in my opinion to boost the energy and make you happy make you feel bouncy make the place seem 
alive and vibrant if that makes sense that you can feel the pulse of the place um it is just gorgeous to bl uh, to burn and um yeah i think that is everything that i have and i hope this wasn't too long and yeah bye